Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. So guys, I'm on the test server here. I'm able to look at new Halloween champions that are coming. We did see a bit of a screenshot of this uh, the other day. So we're actually able to go in and see the kits. This includes the Fusion Rare, the Fusion Epic, the new Fusion Champs, and then there's a Mythical and a couple more Legendaries joining the fray as well. So I guess let's dive right in. Obviously we're on the Halloween theme stuff here on the test server as well. Void rare, Denid the Tusk Knight. <laughs> I mean, not looking very Halloween I've got to say it. It's very big fella. He's almost comical. He's a comical knight. Let's be honest. What's going on there? He's got like the pig head or the wart head or something. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's a defense based rare, 1200 defense, which is pretty good. Decent speed. Honestly, not, not the craziest work by raid standards, but a unique helm, I guess. A unique helm. Right, let's see. Pretty base kit here. We've got a chance to provoke on the A1. 30% goes up to 40 if you book him out. You've then got an AoE kit, which is given strength to your team. That's pretty juicy for a rare, honestly. That books to a three turn. And it goes on for two. Damn, that's actually good for a rare. And then we got places a shield on this champion for two turns, equal to 10% of his max HP when hit by an enemy under provoke. So I guess he's, he's kind of like your entry level into Hydra provoking whilst helping you try and stay alive. But not really much going on with that kit. Let's be honest. There's not a lot going on with that kit. A new void rare in the pool. Um, I'm not saying like skip a fusion for this guy honestly let's then check out the epic so signy looking very stern damn she is looking difficult to take down definitely an hp based champ <laughs> i can't say this is a weird set of heroes going down right now Got the little, is it cravat? That's what you call it. Pretty plainish looking sword. HP based epic champ from Banner Lords. Okay. Okay, H, uh, base HP, but nothing crazy. So we've got a double hitter. Each hit got a chance to reduce resistance. Also heals this champion by 20% of the damage done. Where do we want a single target decrease resist? Not that many places, but I mean, it means that you need way less accuracy if you can land it. So I guess it's okay. AoE, before attacking, books to 100% chance of removing one random debuff from allies on a three turn. After the attack, 100% after books, chance of removing a random buff from enemies. After the attack. Ugh. Feels kind of like whatever really and then we've got an increased resistance and reflect damage on all our allies on the a3 on a four turn pretty blah when this champion is under reflect and an enemy attempts to place a debuff 20 percent chance to reflect the debuff that's cool that's a cool passive um but yeah very very mediocre in my opinion rare and epic for the fusion so yeah that's that's kind of disappointing honestly so let's check out the two that we've already seen, just, just in terms of some base stats on that here. So Gretel, who's going to be the fusion. We can get a proper look at her here. Cool little tattoos going on. What's that one? Looks like a little dagger coming down here, is it? Can't quite see what that one is. Looks like taste or something like that. Cloak is really sweet, actually. Cloak is really well done. Look at that. Really nice. Little gingerbread man. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, so we know her kit. She's got drop defense here. Look, basically, if you've got Hansel, her kit looks really strong. If you don't have Hansel, her kit looks okay. Quad hit here with the chance to reduce defense. I'm going to do a separate video probably for tomorrow where we test out her damage and Hansel's damage because that's what we really want to know. What are their multipliers like? Tax all enemies here. A cool drop turn meter, but 
with Hansel in the mix cannot be resisted, which makes this tons better. And then a passive that fills her turn meter whenever an enemy gets an extra turn, like with Mythical Champs. So yeah, she's definitely interesting, but mainly from a pairing point of view. 100 base speed, high base attack, which is good. Uh, let's just check this guy's stats as well. Same sort of thing, but 1600 base attack. If their multipliers are good, then we might have ourselves a little arena team going on here. We can check it out. What is that saying there? Some sort of Latin, is it, on his armor? I think so. Looks like he's taking a bit of a burn to the face. Kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, we can test out those two for tomorrow, and I'll do a separate video on it. Uh, but we do have as well two new legendaries. So Volcanos here, very demon spawn esque. Oh, he's actually a faction guy, right? Okay, one of the Unity guys. Ah, oh, this this banner is very sweet on the back here, liking that. Chains wrapping around him, skulls all over the place. Looks very cool. Cool sword. Ah, look at that sword, actually. Really good work on the sword. Love that. Yeah. Good work. Okay, Volcanus few more here. Defense based, 1400 base defense. Good speed again. Let's see what's going on with this one. Uh, is he the first guy then for this faction to have this unity stuff? Yeah. So attacks an enemy. Each time this skill is used permanently, Increase the damage inflicted by this skill by 10% up to 100%. So you can get double the damage out of the A1 over time. Counterattacks with this skill uh, each time. An en oh, so you will counterattack with this skill each time an enemy under an HP burn attacks this champion or allies. Okay, so you're going to get that stack up really quick. Interesting. A2, AoE, puts a fear out there for two turns. This debuff cannot be resisted if they're under a burn. And then double hitter here on the A3. Damage inflicted by this skill increases by 10% for the turns left of any HP burn. Up to 100%. I don't think I've ever seen burn stacking up to 10 stacks, but maybe he does it. Let's see. So faction unity stuff here. One other demon spawn in the team. Damage received by this champion decreased by 50% if this skill is not being used. Wow, that's a, like such a massive amount of damage reduction. If there's two other demons spawn each time an HP burn is activated, 50% chance to decrease a cooldown uh, of this skill by a turn. What is the cooldown? Four. Okay. Um, and then if the target is under a burn, this attack will ignore stone skin, Unkillable, block damage, basically anything that protects someone. Interesting. I wonder if this hits really hard. We've then got a passive surge in demon fire. Whenever an enemy receives a buff or has their turn meter increased, 50% chance to place a burn on that enemy. So that's how we're getting everything else activated. If the enemy's already got a burn, 50% chance to instantly activate it. And if there's one other demon, this is irresistible. So that means that this is irresistible and this is. He doesn't need accuracy anywhere else. So one other demon, he doesn't need accuracy. Then if there's two other demons, each time a burn activates on the enemy, this champion gains ignore defense up to 100%. Wow. That's actually insane. Up to 100% ignore defense once stuff gets burning. Wow, that's going to be insane. We've then got places block. So if there's three other demons, places block revive on enemies killed whilst under a burn. And you can book it up to this being 70% instead of 50. Woo! This guy's pretty nuts. This guy's kind of nuts. Uh, you've then got, you almost never want to use the A2, uh, the A3, I think, and just keep this 50% damage reduction up. Surely. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, seems nuts to me. Right, so, and then you've got... The aura increases defense and speed in all battles for demon spawn. And the one thing you always need to, to wonder with demon spawn or with any of these unity guys, do they have people that help do it? Help make this guy useful. Obviously, Carnage is something you can eventually farm as a strong mythical. So he's an option. 
other great champions. You've got Sakia in here, who plays with Burns quite well. You've got Kaimar, just good to have in teams. You've got Duchess, good to have in teams. Any other ones which are kind of top tier? Depends where you're going to use them. Like if you're going to use them in actual like arena type content, then there's, there's plenty. But outside of arena, you've got good champions. Don't get me wrong. Like Countess Lix is really good. Um, Scorid hits hard. Heferak hits really hard. Candy hits hard. Basal is actually not bad. Withered, good support. Helicaf, great champ. Not really like end game, but still a great champ. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think there's enough to make him pretty damn interesting. So, damn. Okay. One more then. And this is the mythical. Third mythical of this faction. So, let's have a look there. Nell is the mythical. Nell Black Teeth. I actually really love this skin. Look at that. So cool, actually. Look at like the the um almost like porcelain dull breaking type of vibe going on. A sweet kind of oh look at that little animation there. This is very well done. Damn, good job, Raid. This one's extremely cool. Like almost like a cockerel dagger. The gingerbread men. Little oven mitts, is that? Oh no, the shoes. Little shoes. Not sure why she's got little shoes. Oh, this is too good, actually. Look at that. That is too good. Damn. That's extremely cool on the back there. Love that. And then obviously the staff. So she's all sweet. And then she flips into the witch. Ah, is this just the best visual character yet? Damn, I'm not sure about the, I guess, are they kind of like wings that have been burnt away? Is that what we're supposed to be seeing there? What are those things? Has she got wings this side? I don't think so. No, she's just got big stick, almost like spider-like or insect-like or grasshoppery. Maybe, maybe like grasshopper type things or praying mantis. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's meant to be, but uh, they've got like kind of like runes in here. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, man. Badass. Look at that. Look at that work. So good, actually. Really, really cool. And then the weapon flips as well. Damn. So it is like. Uh, What's the word? You know what I'm saying? Like the goat type legs. This is so good. This is absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's check out the actual kit though. So, Nail Black Teeth here as a support unit on the first form. Very fast, 112, good stats. So, we've got attacks and enemy, steals 10% turn meter, and an additional 5% for each debuff on the enemy. So, you can get a ton of turn meter steal, not just reduce, steal their turn meter. Also a chance of placing true fear on them. We've got steal all buffs from all enemies. This goes to a three turn. Decrease each target's turn meter by 10%. Decrease each target's turn meter by another 10% for each debuff. Instantly activates any poisons. And sleeps them if they don't have poison. Damn. Uh, we've then got an AoE. Puts decreased defense and weaken on everyone. And fills our turn meter by 20% on a three turn. So huge. It's absolutely ginormous. Just think, basically doing two jobs in one extremely well with that skill. Wow, this champ is nuts in support form. Right, passive here. Whenever an enemy receives a buff, is healed, or has their turn meter increased, puts a poison on them for two turns. And it ignores block debuffs. Is healed, receives a buff, or turn meter increase. They get poisoned. Like, wow. Does that mean you get a triple poison if someone like a Seafy buffs? Increases this champion's turn meter by 5% for each poison as well. So she will potentially just cut in ahead of where she should be. This is a crazy form. This is a crazy form, right. Uh, we then get accuracy in arena. Let's see what the other form looks like. So this one is a damaging form, massive base attack, good speed in that as well. Quad hit, 
each hit ignoring 30% of the target's defense. Each hit will also decrease max HP. And if it's not a boss, we'll place a shield on this champion equal to 25% of the target's max HP. So, so it could be something like a 25k shield at that point. A2 double hit deals 100% more damage to enemies under any sort of control. So double damage to enemies under any sort of control. If the target's killed, instantly activates Feast of Terror, which is this one. So if you kill someone here, we do the AoE. The AoE puts True Fear out there. Debuff cannot be resisted or blocked by enemies with less than half health. What if that's before or after the hit? So if it's after the hit, that's a brilliant ability. If it's before, not so good. Probably after though, I would think. Like in terms of where the HP pool is. Okay, and then the passive on this one. Whenever this champion kills an enemy using, using the A2 or A3, grants an extra turn. So you could go A2, which is on a free turn cooldown. A2 instantly activates the A3. I don't think it will use it, but it might do. Maybe I'm wrong there. If it doesn't use it, then you would just go again, providing you kill someone with some of that. Is that insane or what? Each debuff placed by this champion in either form, either th uh, form here, increases their HP, attack, and defense, stacking up to 50%. So if you get 25 debuffs on an enemy, 25 of those poisons in the other form, you're getting 50% more HP, attack, and defense, and speed up to 50 more speed. But, oh, I see. But in their alternate form, oh, let me just check again. Each debuff placed by this champion in either form increases the stats in their alternate form. Does that mean alternate to this, or is this the alternate form? I'm not sure which way around that works. Still, kind of crazy kit, and then we've got accuracy in arena again. Whew! Nell, Black Teeth, nutty. Absolutely nutty new mythical champ. Damn. I actually almost forgot. We got one more as well. So we got a new Void Legendary. Arnorn. Arnorn the Shining here. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's got like little light up holders. Like, damn, right? Just, they take it one step further. I'm not loving the overall skin. Like the skin's cool, but not crazy. But that's kind of a nice little touch. Okay, Avoid Legendary. Pretty badass. What is he here? Eight, uh, 1586 base attack. Attack base void Lego. Let's have a look. Double hitter A1. Damage increases by 5% for each buff on a target. And it's got a chance to stun. Goes up to 50%. Double hitter on the A2. Books down to a three turn. Damage inflicted by this skill increases by 10% for each. 10% HP this champion loses. If the target's under two or more buffs, also ignores his 35% defense so you can get to basically double damage if he's very low health zero health and he's ignoring defense and he gets an extra turn if he kills someone and then we've got an aoe a3 books to a four turn ignores increased defense strengthen and shield if he kills at least one enemy decreases the turn down of all enemies by 50 percent which cannot be resisted and then a passive increases his attack by 5% for each buff on the enemy up to 100%. Is that even possible for the enemy to have 20 buffs? Maybe, I suppose. And then an active part, which got a four turn cooldown, prevents his champion's death, keeps them alive on one HP when hit by Fatal, which powers up that A2, places stone skin on them for one turn, then instantly activates the A3. This will not place a the skill on cooldown. If there's multiple champions on the same team with this skill, this effect will only activate once. Damn, so he gets maximum damage out of his A2. He gets stone skin on himself, which makes him incredibly difficult. This guy, I think, is going to end up being kind of like an ultimate death knight, where you build him with no speed, you wait for him to be killed, and then someone has to try and fight through his stone skin, or he's just going to nuke them into the ground. Because, I mean, providing this hits for any sort of damage, this just procs off and drops turn meter of the enemies. I guess this is single target, but he gets an extra turn if he kills someone with it. So if this hits hard, I don't know, sounds kind of crazy as well. An attack in all battles. Interesting one. Okay, Woo! lots of new champs. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one.